Hi, welcome back to First Aid with Jay. We'll be going over a quick video on the classification of burns. So what's a burn? It's basically, uh, it's a burn on your skin, right? Yeah, so it's basically uh, like heating in your skin that's caused a damage um, in different ways. So there's a lot of different ways that you can get burns. Um, there's scalds, which is basically from a hot liquid. So if you burn it on water, or if you were unlucky, you burnt your skin on oil. Um, there's friction. So it could cause be like rough surfaces like carpet. You could get a carpet burn. Um, uh, you can get radiation or a sunburn. There's um, electrical burns, which are from electrical shocks and wires. Um, and then there's also chemical burns. So from chemicals burning your skin um, and then just dry hot objects such as like the kitchen stove. Um, there's three types of burns. So there's first degree burns, second degree burns, and third degree burns. So first degree burns just affect the epidermis, which is the top layer of the skin. Second degree burns um, damage the epidermis um, and the dermis, and they can also result in blistering. Uh, third degree burns, it affects all three layers of the skin. So it affects the outer layer, which is the epidermis, um, and it can cause it to be really blackened. It can really damage the dermis. Um, and then below that is the subcutaneous uh, layer of skin, which it also damages that. Um, and third degree burns, third degree burns are really serious because it's it's a lot of skin and it can cause permanent damage and scarring um and it also may have damaged underlying bone muscle or fat um just by how bad the third degree burn was so it's important when you get a burn to assess the burn size so correctively correctively estimating it is very important just do like um and a lot of times this is going to be done just in total body surface area so the total surface area of someone's hand is about 1%. So if it's if someone has a like a 1% burn, they've got like a basically a palm of skin somewhere that's been burned. If it's uh if you have burns that exceed 10% of your total body uh skin percentage, then that can lead to severe serious shock and it needs require needs uh, medical treatment. So these severe burns could be caused from like fire. So if someone was caught in a fire, um, just need to know that uh, that's what it is. Um, so basically that's all I have for today. Thanks for tuning in and hopefully you learned something about burns.